Hey everyone, Jen Decker back with another installment of AEW Top 5. Wednesday night was another action-packed episode of AEW Dynamite on TNT, so it's no surprise that this week's Top 5 was a really close one. We were so overwhelmed with all your submissions, and we can't thank you enough for keeping us trending all night long. So, without further ado, here are your Top 5 moments of AEW Dynamite as voted on by you, the fans. Joey Janela's had a rough start to 2020. In fact, it was just a year ago that he was made eventing Fighter Fest against John Moxley. But now, with his career seemingly without direction, the bad boy seems to have lost his way. That is, except for when it comes to his last two tag matches with Sonny Kiss on AEW Dark. Maybe it's Sonny's unrivaled enthusiasm or his amazing athleticism, but Sonny's been a bright spot since he joined AEW. As Christopher Daniels said last week after their match on Dark, they don't call him the Concrete Rose for nothing. He's a real sweetheart that hits like a brick. And while he's teamed up with a handful of talent on the roster, this unlikely duo really seems to have natural chemistry in the ring. And you guys are just as excited about it as I am because you voted it your number five moment of the week. My name is Joey Janela, and I came to All Elite Wrestling to become a star. What happened? I went from wrestling John Moxley in the main event to kind of just faded into the darkness. Sometimes I feel like my best moments in wrestling are behind me. Somewhere along the last six months or so, I kind of lost my direction. Joey? Sonny? Hey, you need a ride, boo? What are you doing here? Hop in. What are you doing here is the real question. I've been drinking. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. That's crazy. What a coincidence. Uh, His car. Sunny Kiss and Joey Janela. I think this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Meanwhile, coming in at number four, when Orange Cassidy answered Chris Jericho's call last week for the baddest man on the planet, it shot him straight to the top of Jericho's lexicon. So this week, when OC and the best friends beat Hager, Santana, and Ortiz, Jericho was beyond irate, so much so that he left the commentary booth to handle the freshly squeezed one himself, assaulting him with a baseball bat and then a bag of blood oranges to the head. Jericho's on his way to the ring, JR. But Jericho's got that bat in hand. He's got Floyd. And it's not pink. Oh my God. Oh. Man, Jericho is pissed. Oh. oh, to the ribs of Trent with the bat. If nothing else, he's been embarrassed here now, well, not once, but many times on television by. Oh, oh right in the head. head. Oh. oh, the handle of the bat on the head. Right in the head from that wooden bat. And Jericho is as violent and vile as we've seen him. He's been embarrassed here on television, here live on TNT, and he's simply pissed. What's going to be left of best friends for Fighter Fest when they got their World Tag Team title shot? They have been laid out here. And now Santana with the bat in hand. The best! The best! The best! The best! The best! Jer Jericho's got a... He's got, he's got bags of oranges. I got a feeling this is not a peace offering. No, there's, that's a, there's, those, not, there's not a fruit basket in anybody's future here. I no, don't think. Those are those. Those are blood oranges that he has. And I, I, I don't know what. The, loading even more oranges into that into that bag. That's, that's got to be 20 pounds of blood oranges. You would be too. And Jericho. What happens when you mess with the inner circle? Huh? You see what happens? Think we a joke? Oh, George oh Cassidy busted open by that oh bat. God. He's bleeding out of the ear. Come on, he's God out. Sakes. He's bleeding. He's out. They need to stop. Someone needs to get out of here and stop this now. And not this could crush. This could crush a man's skull. Oh! That that 20 plus pound bag of oranges smashed into the head of Cassidy. A bloody orange Cassidy has fallen, fallen 
and he has fallen hard and heavy at the hands of the inner circle. Oh, good God, come on, stop it. Jericho what? is taking this whole Orange Cassidy oh. thing extremely, what extremely you, personal. The off. inner circle has literally beaten Orange Cassidy to a bloody pulp. Yes, they have, using blood oranges, 20 pounds oh, of them. God. And a, another, oh! oh. Well, obviously, this is a plan that has some sort of premeditation to it. Sure you did. don't leave oranges and blood orange or whatever the hell they are yeah, in the ring. You're right. It's a setup. Jericho's outsmarted his opposition once again. Orange Cassidy left battered and bloodied by Chris Jericho the in the best. inner circle. The and bleeding out your ears, the best. no blood is, any blood is bad. But when it's coming out you your ears. See. Blood Orange Cassidy has just been juiced. Indeed he has. Man, good question. What about uh, Fighter Fest? These guys gonna be available? Coming in at number three, this week Alex Marvez caught up with the AEW champion John Moxley ahead of his match against Brian Cage at Fighter Fest. Mox made it very clear that he's had enough of Taz's antics and promos on behalf of his client. Not to be outdone, of course, Taz arrived to exchange words with the champ, but only moments before Cage blindsided Mox and used him as a human battering ram against a car. The beating got so intense that even Taz implored the machine to stop. But it turns out, not even he can stop the path of Cage. With all due respect, Taz, you are one of the great trash talkers of all time. But in this case, there he is what right is now. Freaking deal! Educate me. I'm sick. Get this out of my face. Educate me, I'm sitting. Dad. I'm sitting in my trailer, exactly what you and I just hear you chirping. Do to me. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Enough of this. Get yourself right. Get your head right, because you're right, getting right. put out at Fighter Fest. I'm telling oh, you. Look out from behind. What a cheap attack by Brian Cage. This, this monster, this machine. Good God. Listen to the shots. Brian Cage. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Sending Moxley Mox into that barricade. Moxley never had a chance. Not at all. One. Not at all. That that big behemoth. Oh! oh. Well, look at Mox fighting back. Moxley will quit. And John Moxley. Oh, look out! Oh. oh my God! That could have been Cage's head. That would have been the end of Cage's career. But, oh! Moxley slammed face first into the car. And the strength, the power of this machine. A spine buster on the hood of the car. Ryan Cage not waiting to fighter fest to get his hands on John Moxley. Moxley is getting battered and fried here by this machine. No, 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 no. Enough, enough. Don't do this. We do it. We, we sent the message. We're done. Let's go. Boy, do Let's they go. ever send a message. Let's go. Taz being the Ryan, voice no, of reason, no, I guess. Ryan. My God, he's, no. he's got Cage. Oh! Spine burst into the back windshield, shattering the glass and maybe shattering the, the career of John Moxley that, that, as it leads into Fighter Fest. That's a good point. What is going to be left of John Moxley for Fighter Fest now? He needs some medical attention. Serious medical attention. Coming in at number two is the women's tag match with Chris Statlander and Hikaru Shida against Penelope Ford and Nyla Rose. I told y'all a few weeks ago, don't sleep on Penelope Ford. With her athleticism and her gymnastics background, she has the real potential to be a future AEW Women's Champion. And while her pin over Hikaru Shida may have been a little tainted, you absolutely cannot deny Ford's star power. And Statlander sent to the outside. Nyla tags in Penelope Ford. They can win this right now. I'm surprised Nyla didn't go for the cover me, there. But me too. A very timely tag for half. Absolutely. We'll see. We'll Look see. at this. They've got something else. Oh, in oh, oh! They had something else in mind. Sheeta reverses Nyla. Running oh. knee strike to the jaw. Not quite as much gusto behind it, though, after that. And bottom rope almost guillotined her. Penelope Ford in the ring. She's got her oh, own fucking arrow. Oh, she's done the deal. One, two, no. Oh. Wow. It's a big night right here already for her. She kicked right out of here. I don't look this stuck in. No, oh, Kip Sabian. Kip, Kip Sabian. Right, right, in, right in front of the referee. Here comes Statlin. Oh, oh, no. Tope suicide oh, by Statlin. Oh, yes. Oh. yes. Yes. Cover. Right Cover. 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 She's out. 
She is out after that belt. She's got her heart. Oh, there you go. Fisherman suplex. One, one, two, three. Yes. What? What an upset. The no, middle before the team of the team. And I told you. And Penelope Ford. I told you Penelope is in line for a title shot. She's going to be a champion very soon. I told you. And she backed up my words right there. Penelope Ford defeating the AEW Women's World Champion with the assistance of that Women's World title and Nyla Rose. Yeah, well, here's the thing, Excalibur. Uh, any championship match that she's going to be in, she's going to have Kip Sabian at ringside, one would assume. Right. That could be a big fact. During their interview with Tony Schiavone last week, FTR said they were going to change the landscape of professional wrestling here at AEW. And if their match with Butcher and the Blade was any indication, maybe FTR does stand for Follow the Rules. FTR versus Butcher and the Blade felt like classic 80s hard-hitting stuff, so it's only fitting that their in-ring debut would clinch the number one spot. Sure does. Look at this. Dangerous high rent district, whatever the hell that means. Good grief. What are they doing? Oh, oh, look at this! Oh, 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 oh. Cover! One, two, no! Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe that! A superplex into a, a flying elbow drop from the top rope. And Tully Blanchard likes that. He's taking notes there. Yeah, notice how Sean Spears sitting behind Tully and just, he's just staring at Tully the whole time. I, staring at the back. Maybe he's, he's just guarding Tully in case anybody tries to take a cheap shot at him. I don't know him. what's going on there. Let's see that, that, that big move again. That was a great move. Superplex, elbow drop. Great timing by both men. And in the ring, he's got a roll oh, up. Blake rolls around. Oh, one, two. Oh! Wow, what another near fall. Yeah, the, oh, knee to the face. Did you see that? Blade very nearly spoiled the party for FTR. Here comes the big guy Ill, illegally. No tag was made that I saw. But he's, got, he's got 10 seconds. Look at this. It's a big move. Oh! Oh, that could do it right there. Wait One, a minute. Two. Two. I believe there was a tag. So well, very innovative offense here. I can't, I, I'm really enjoying this smash mouth style of pro wrestling that we're seeing tonight. And Butcher and Blade doing a good job of cutting the ring in half right across the hypotenuse. And they're looking for full death, but no! Makes the save for his partner. That's teamwork for you. Oh, oh, look at that! The Goodnight Express on the Butcher! Goodnight Express! I love that name. But Harwood, with his back turned, Blade going for the backslide. The, the, the backslide! No, Cash uh -oh. Wheeler makes a tag. Made. And now they've got him up. Oh, the mind breaker! The shades of Arn and Tully. Stuffed pile driver right there. Call it what you want. I call it a victory. No winners of this match. F.T. Oh! A hot commodity they are. Highly regarded, the hottest free agents in the pro wrestling world. And they're here in AEW. And they look great. That's one of those matches where there's a winner, but both teams won because I thought the Butcher and the Blade did a tremendous job there as well. What a great opening match here on Dynamite this week. Something we haven't seen a lot of. Just four guys beating the crap out of each other in the best possible way. There you have it, guys. Your top five moments of AEW Dynamite. How many of your nominations made the cut? Let me know in the comments. Didn't see yours there though? Don't sweat it. There's always next week where we will have an absolutely stacked card for you, including the Natural Nightmares taking on the current tag team champs, Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page for the AEW Tag Team Championship and the Young Bucks versus the Super Bad Squad. Till then, be sure and keep up with us on all the social media accounts like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as YouTube for exclusive content you can't get anywhere else. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and share us with your friends. I'm Jen Decker, reminding you to stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks for being a part of the revolution. I'll see you guys again soon.